Last pillar holding to serve to Takeshi Kamura. Love all. Play. Oh. So the former champions and number one seeds, Mads Conrad and Mads Carling from Denmark. Nearest to us, getting this semi-final underway. Incidentally, this is the second meeting between these two pairs. First time they met in the first round of the India Super Series earlier this year. Two straight games, won by the Danes, because, of course, they went on to reach the final, their first ever final of a Super Series tournament in Delhi. Yeah, he's just saying there's a flashlight behind the court. Mads Conrad. Had that problem in the mixed doubles as well, didn't we? Oh, look at that. Using all of his height. And the problem is, opponents know he's got such a good smash. Mads calling. That, that drop shot that's played at such an acute angle becomes so lethal. Pushes it just long. by Kamora. tournament last week did the Danes quarterfinal they beat their fellow countrymen Bo and Mogensen who were the defending champions semi-final beat the reigning world champions Hassan and Setiwan 
but this is their third tournament in three weeks. So it is for the Japanese pair as well, it should be added. And the Japanese pair lost in the first round in both Denmark and France, so they haven't had as many matches over the last three weeks. Oh, look at that, I told you he's got a good smash. My goodness me. Well, six foot nine of him, plus a jump, plus the arm, the arm stretching up above his head. I wonder what height that's coming down from. Oh, four straight points. Five straight points. Danish coach. Always oh, pushed it just wide. That's a pity from a Danish perspective because he moved forward at exactly the right moment, Mads Conrad. to the mid-game interval. interval. Our former champions with a four-point advantage. Well, you can get an idea of just how tall uh, Mads Colling is because when I tell you that his partner Mads Conrad is six foot one, 186. Well, I when they stand next to each other, you will be able to get an idea. Well, for Mads Conrad, this is actually his third semi final here in Bitburger. Not only the semi final two years ago when they went on to win the title. Back in 2012, Level he was semi finalist with Erasmus Bonda. Long, long arms. How do you get it past him when he's at the net? Look at that. Must be so daunting to play against. Had a little think about it, didn't it? Oh, that's great defence. 
from Sonoda. Driving the shuttle back, keeping it flat over the net. In fact, I think it was Kimura who actually hit the final drive smash, drive defence. It's gone wide. Yeah, it was certainly Kimura that made the error there. a little bit late. Oh no, I think it was a correct call. Oh, good defence. Yeah. And that brilliant defence kept the Japanese pair in the rally. Look at that. That is super. I thought for a moment this one was about to go long. That oh, one there. But no, it was clearly in. Or was it? Oh, well, it was called in anyway. Whether it was clearly in, I'm not so convinced now. So proactive at the front of the court. Mads Conrad always hunting the shuttle, always adjusting his movement, ready to pounce. Two points away from this opening game now. The former champions. have a tendency sometimes Max Conrad when he's smashed down his forehand side he still uses that backhand action What a serve. Nineteen. 
And all of a sudden, it doesn't seem such a tall order, does it? Four points adrift. No, just three points. Well, immediately looks at the service judge. No call. That's well taken from Mads Conrad. Game point, 16. Four game point opportunities. confirms 21 16 opening game just lasting 16 minutes now I thought the real important phase was from five six down to ten six up and I thought from that moment on the Danes were just oozing confidence Sweden, but coaching in Denmark. Doesn't like to fly anywhere, Kruna. Travels by train. Court one, 20 seconds. Or car. Court one, 20 seconds. Second game. Bravo. A good serve. Oh! Oh. Read it so well. Here goes Sonoda. Yeah. No good reading, any of you don't play the winner. May take that. What a smash. Yeah, you won't see better than that. Power, placement, and angle. the trickery didn't work 
We saw a fabulous one earlier today, didn't we, from Mark Schwebler. And the back winner. Oh, that's clever. Whoa! Very clever oh, play oh. from Takeshi Kamora. Delightful change of pace. Partner hits the thunderous smash, but look at that. Lovely guided shot in a downward direction. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, good rally. Kamora did well. This little block from Colling. That's the one that did the damage. Good flick. Oh, how did he reach that? Well, six foot nine of him. That's oh! not. Yeah, and then they got in a bit of a pickle. Six, five. Oh. And who's going for that one? No, I think the initial problem was that Nads Conrad was ready to take the the first one that was intercepted by Mads Culling. Oh. Missed it. It's long. Oh, good defence. What a rally. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Very good rally. And good final smash. Good placement. Yeah, had a little look first, did Sonoda. Yeah, there's a little look. Saw that Mads Conrad was weighted, committed to that backhand defence and therefore just smashed across the body. Yeah, they've opened up a three-point cushion here. 
Mm, Danish coach looking a little bit concerned. points. Positive Babington at the moment. Haven't been in the final since they won the German Grand Prix Gold event last year. It was March last year. Some last seven points. And they really do seem to be on a roll, this Japanese pair. Gamora and Sonodo. Now they don't have a coach here. They're left to their own devices. been so positive in this second game. Number six seeds. Yeah, look where they're smashing again. What's that? The right-hand side of Mads Conrad. That's a good return of serve. Now that's what they were doing in the opening game, the Danes, Nine, with that 12. measured attack.
Oh, that's gone oh. way long. And all of a sudden, on a run of four straight points, the Danes are right back in this. He's quite fidgety, isn't he? Sonoda. Oh, yes. Good return. It's good variation, too. I like that from the Danes, varying the return of serve. Turn two. Well, we always talk about the serve return and third shot being critical in doubles. The last few rallies we've seen now the return of serve can really either set the tone of the rally or be an outright winner. Come on. That's quick from Sonoda. That interception. There's the little block. Watch him. Watch his movement. Look at that. And that racket head. That was lightning quick. And the mental anguish. He knows he could have. Well, he certainly had the opportunity to play the winner there. Mads Conrad uh, finds the net. from Sonoda. The drop to the centre of the court. There it is, followed up with a smash straight down the line. That is brilliant play from Kago Sonoda. There is alert to that too. been serving well. Yeah, there's another serve. Very good serve from Calder. Oh, 
Oh, and another brilliant serving. Oh, it's landed in. Misjudgment from the tall man. Well, that misjudgment from uh, Colling. I wonder if that could be the deciding factor. Well, I say misjudgment. Let's give praise to the Japanese pair who played perfection on that. Oh, look at that backhand. How does he generate that power? Virtually no backswing of the racket from Sonoda. Drives it across court. And now five game point opportunities to send this to a third and deciding game. Service over. 16. error on serve. Yeah, second time of asking. And the number six seeds, Takeshi Kamora and Keigo Sonoda. Take the second game, 21-16. So absolute symmetry in the scoreline. Those games, won and lost to 16. One game all and everything to play for in this third and deciding game. 36 minutes into the match. Well, the semi-finals on the adjoining court are all finished. i give you a quick update. Tang Huanting and Yu Yang won through in the women's doubles. Busanan Ungbangarangpan in the women's singles. Robert Matusiak and uh, Nadia Ziba, former world number ones from Poland, threw in the mixed doubles. Vladimir Ivanov and Ivan Sozanov, European champions, await the winners of this men's doubles. And it will be an all Hong Kong men's singles final tomorrow because Ankar Long has beaten Rajiv Usif. So Ankar Long will play against Wang Wing Ki or Hong Kong men's singles final. But we've still got to determine who's going to play in the men's doubles final. Which of these two pairs? Former champions, number one seeds, Mads Comrade and Mads Colling, or Kimura and Sonoda of Japan. Oh, look at that backhand again. Well, it's clever because if they keep it flat, then uh, Mads Colling can't use his height. He can use his reach out wide. And the difficulty for tall athletes is getting out of the way to give themselves the freedom to play shots that are aimed towards the body. And that's a magnificent return of serve. Look at that. Oh, it's just wide. Yeah, Sorry, missed by a whisker. Two, all. Oh, oh. So it's over. Three, two.
goodness me. Oh! Well, Mads Connor, I didn't know an awful lot about that rally. Look at that. Yeah. No idea. Coach Kruner looking uh, a little bit nervous, isn't he, at the moment? Oh, he's got it back. Unbelievable. What play from Kamora. Yeah. And Danish fans can hardly watch. Well, look, he should have put that away. But Kamora, alert to it. And he certainly wasn't expecting the perfect net shot in response. My goodness me. me what's this about ah! Ah! Oh, still don't know what it's about He's still fidgety, Sonoda. He can't afford to lift short to the big man. He'll thunder those down. Oh, yes. Well played and well taken. The final Seven. shot from Sonoda. Seven, Oh. Well, 
one of the rare occasions that Mads Colling misses with a smash. Oh, yes. Yeah, big gap. Just calmly place the shuttle into that open space. Yeah, it's nicely done. This is desperately important. Have the psychological advantage of changing ends with the advantage. At the moment, there's just one point in it. Oh, oh that's well taken. Oh. This time from Kamora. One game or nine or. It's landed in. Yeah, confusion. So it's over. Then nine. It's a good serve again. And it is the former champions who have the advantage at the change of ends. A two-point advantage. So, last advice from coaches. Taken. This is a good Nine. little run, isn't it? Four straight points.
has such a good return of serve. It really is. Look at that. Looks as if he's going to play the little angled shot to the mid-court area. Oh, that's brilliant. What a change of pace. Well, it was all fast and furious, and then suddenly, the wonderful, delicate shot. Look at that. Wonderful. And even the long reach of Mad Scarling couldn't get that. Is this the decisive move? Ah. <laughs> That's just gorgeous defence, isn't it? When that, when it comes onto his backhand fence and he blocks it and moves forward, changes his defensive play into the opportunity to attack. Started with a good flick serve, but couldn't capitalise. Oh, this is far from over yet. Hear what on earth the umpire is saying to Mads Conrad. I'm yeah, really not sure what that was about. Oh, what a good rally. Just wide. Sonoda very nearly got it back. That very nearly isn't good enough. Look at that. Oh. Well, 
And there's a miss hit off a miss hit. What a serve from Kamora. That skimmed the net. I think it deflected very, very slightly. Yeah. One point in it. Oh, and it's gone wide. Oh, that's great reactions from Mads Conrad, playing that round the head. Well, what was it? Was it a drive? Whatever it was, it was very effective. And now three match point opportunities for the number one seeds and former champions. Second final in two weeks for Mads Conrad and Mads Colling. And look how delighted they are. Tomorrow they will contest their fourth final of the year. But what a magnificent semi final here against the number six seeds, Kamora and Sonodo. 21 16, 16 21, 21 17 in the deciding game. Well, what a, a wonderful match. Three minutes shy of the hour mark. And the Danes safely through to the final. So as they take leave of the court, confirmation of the scoreline, 21-16, 16-21, 21-17 in the deciding game. So tomorrow's men's doubles final will be a repeat of the European Championship final uh, last year. So that concludes semi-finals day for us here in Saarbrücken. It all started with women's singles. Kane Yamaguchi upsetting Rachinuk Intanon. And then Poon and Si coming through in the women's doubles for Hong Kong. What a day for Hong Kong because it will be an all... Hong Kong men's singles final. Mark Schwiebler beaten by Wong Wing Ki. And the married couple of Chris and Gabby Adcock, they're safely through to the final once more, as indeed are the former champions, Mads Conrad and Mads Colding. We will be back with the finals tomorrow, 2 o'clock local time. That's the same as today. That's 1300 GMT from all of us here in Saarbrücken. Bye for now. <laughs>